club's not open yet. Well, that's a very good thing. What do you want? Are you offering something? Daddy? <laughs> All alone, little girl. Nice and private. That's a good thing, because we don't want an audience. <laughs> not for this. <laughs> Real bad. <laughs> Let's go, man. Wake up. Cops coming. I gotta go. Let's go. I gotta roll. Come on, bro. Where's Rose? Rose got fired last night. That's why I'm here at this godforsaken hour. You drinking? Oh, fired? Hey, my son. You son of a bitch. Easy now, easy now. when the deli you get a sandwich came out, the car's gone. <laughs> I'm leave that 20 minutes and the car's gone. So I call the police to let them know my car's stolen. <clears throat> they show up an hour later driving my car. Yeah? <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> oh, that's all. Please, make us laugh, please. Yo, bro, all right. Make us laugh. Hey, don't come to your job and interrupt you. Just no, keep you, it down up there, no, right? No, no, but your job is to make us laugh. And I am laugh. making you laugh. Hey, look in the mirror and you'll laugh, okay? No, no, but you're not making me laugh. Hey, fuck you. No, no, fuck you. Hey, don't you're talk to me. Hey, like fuck you, you fuck asshole. You, you fat fuck bitch. You. No, fuck you. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? Lights out, Bedlam. Lights out, Professor Bedlam. No, I've talked to all the other prisoners. They said I can keep them on. Thank you, though. I said lights out. Now! Ah, now you're getting angry. And you know why? It's because I'm challenging your worldview. And that can be a little bit scary, can it? You smart-ass prick. I've been waiting for a good excuse for a long time to give you a beating. And thank you very much for giving me a good one. Welcome. <laughs> Stop it, Dad. What? You were a cute kid. You used to do this one thing, <laughs> the funniest thing. Oh, come on, Dad. Nobody wants to hear about this stuff. Come on. I want to know what you were like as a kid. Fine, go ahead. When he was about five years old, he developed a fascination with legs. Oh, I don't think I've heard this one before. It's <laughs> so embarrassing. Girls' legs? No. Women's legs. <laughs> Not girls' legs. Women's Ooh. legs. If a woman came over and she had on a skirt or a pair of shorts, he would come over, slowly get next to them, sit right down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the kicker was, once he sat down next to him, he started stroking them. And stroking them. Ever so gently. <laughs> and the thing was, the women couldn't get him to stop. He just wouldn't give up. Oh. And that went on for about a year. So that's year. why so, you always like to massage my feet, huh? Stop it. Don't encourage him. It was legs, not feet. His favorite was his mother. She had great legs. <laughs> Come on, Dad. What? It's your mother. 
God. Okay, okay. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. It's all right. It's okay. You're such a good boy, Gerald. Such a good boy. <laughs> Your mother should be so proud of you. She's the one that should be here doing this. She wouldn't have ran out on us. Why would you be saying that, Pop? Your mother, she was so beautiful. Did I ever tell you how I met her? It was at this old club we used to frequent. I walked in, and I saw her sitting there. She was obviously waiting for somebody. <coughs> she looked so great. And those eyes, such gorgeous eyes. I thought, what a woman. I'll never forget the first time she looked at me. She looked at me like I was the only guy in the room. I went over and introduced myself to her. She told me she was waiting for some guy on a blind date. <coughs> Can you believe that? The only reason she looked at me is because she thought I was her blind date. <laughs> I felt sorry for that guy. She blew him off to be with me. Sorry, Metro's closed. <laughs> I thought I told you two to get out of town. Did you? I don't know, Donnie. You think maybe we don't hear so good? Did you hear the police are looking for you? All right. Stick around and go directly to Jack. We'll get out when we're ready. But first, we got business. Not with me, you don't. Been reading the newspapers, Mr. Montgomery? Notice your daughter's back home? That has nothing to do with you. Well, we think it does. You hired us to kidnap your daughter so you could play hero and ride to the rescue. The plan bombed. So we came up with a better one. Okay, so you don't think we deserve the whole enchilada. And we're willing to negotiate on that. But you want us to walk out of here with nothing. Can't believe this, Don. We're walking out with nothing. No way. No way. This is not over. <laughs> <laughs>